Hello friends, welcome Borger here with a little update on the bike. I know I owe you guys a trip review from the 2600 mile trip I recently went on. However, that's been delayed to some computer issues. So hopefully I can get that ironed out. However, I did manage to get the custom made saddle from Russell Daylong Saddles. So far, very impressed with the seat, the quality, uh, just uh, the thought that goes into their, their product is uh, exemplary. Their customer service, uh, tremendous. Very, very uh, great customer service. Call them on the phone, email them, whichever way you decide to communicate with them. They are very uh, responsive Just uh, and, uh, and just great. For, can't say enough for their customer service so uh, shout out for that the seat is more than I expected best way I know how to, des to describe it uh, the rear seat as you can see I'll zoom out a little bit is much wider than stock my wife is uh, suitably impressed as I am um, like I say, this is 100% leather. It's much wider. I'll give you a little profile on the, both of the seats in a sec. You can see the difference in the width between the, the, what was stock and what, you know, now is the updated version. They, they use your old seat pan and then put their uh, seat on top of it so you can see the result. Um, there's the profile from the side. You can see it's about four inches of lower back support that you get and another couple of inches here on the passenger side you can see where they're both independently able to be switched on and switched off um, i've got this disconnected because i'll show you how you, you know the functionality of the seats not changed they put thought into whenever they um sent the seat out about disconnecting it you know, so there's the quick disconnects that comes with it very impressed just a great product uh, very happy with it uh, only i will only say i've only rode it about 100 miles or so and in that time I will, i'll say that, that it's a different ride compared to the, the stock seat and, and not bad for stock and just different uh, the way it's the sets you up a little more upright uh when you come to a stop Due to the, the increased padding in the seat, you'll have to tippy toe. Well, if you got short legs like me, I got a 30 inch inseam, so, and I weigh about 228 pounds. I went with the heavy duty suspension on this, which is recommended for folks over 230 pounds. The back, the rear seat, I think, comes with us the standard uh, uh, passenger weight rating. It, it doesn't matter. If, I think they, they build that all to the same configuration. But the front seat, you can either get heavy-duty suspension or, you know, I guess like a standard suspension. But I, I went with the heavy-duty because I just thought it, with me being a little more on the heavy side as, as I age and don't exercise as much, I uh, probably would uh, last longer. But uh, not, a, not a cheap seat, you know, I'll, I'll say that. And then again, everybody is very, you know, uh, idea of cheap or whatever is is all relative i suppose but this configuration as you see it was about 1750 to include shipping and handling and, uh, so i and so i like I say i'm very pleased with it thus far uh, I, it, and i look forward to riding it much more and breaking it in and even enjoying it even more getting ready to send it off to ivan's to have the ecu uh reflashed so he, he has had a, got an update so i'm going to get that updated at no cost other than shipping and handling but uh so like i say the seat still has the same turn the key rear seat comes off like i say there's quick quick disconnects that they include this is hardware wired into the battery and you can see like i say they they use the same stock seat pan <coughs> So I'm good with that. Like I say, easy on, easy off for the seat. And then I'll pop the, that other seat off and do the disconnect on it. 
But otherwise, guys, uh, very happy, very pleased with it. And if you got any questions, hit me up. Thanks and have a good day.